Hey, you guys, let's do some more examples of order of operations in the distributive property. So let's look at the first one. We're working on order of operations. So remember, you have PEMDAS, parentheses or brackets, grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication and division. You have to use the left or right rule. And then addition and subtraction, you also use the left or right rule. So I'm just going to write PEMDAS over here. All right, and let's get started. For the first one, I can see I have parentheses and inside those parentheses, I have an absolute value. Well, you can think about absolute value bars as grouping symbols. So I'm gonna do the bars inside the parentheses first. And the absolute value of negative five is five. So I have negative three plus five. Remember, absolute value measures the distance of a number from the origin, which is zero, times two divided by negative two. All right, then I need to finish up this work in parentheses. So I have negative three plus five is two. So two times two divided by negative two. So we have multiplication and we have division. You can multiply straight across and then divide. So I'm gonna put a one under here. Two times two is four. One times negative two is negative two and four divided by negative two is negative two. So that would be my answer. All right, now, anytime you have a fraction bar and there's not just one term on top or on bottom, you have an expression, I always put those expressions in group and symbols. So that will apply for number two. So let's look at that. Now I have just a number two on top, but on bottom I have an expression. So I'm gonna put this in parentheses. So we have parentheses and we have an absolute value bar. So I need to do the absolute value first. So that'll be six minus two divided by. The absolute value of negative three is positive three. So we have two minus three. All right, and then two minus three is negative one. All right, I'm gonna handle this division first. 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2, so I have 6 minus negative 2. I just added the parentheses, so the minus and the negative went right in together. And when you are subtracting a negative, you do keep change change or keep flip change. Um, to subtract an integer, you add its opposite, so that would be 6 plus 2, which is 8. All right, let's look at another one. Let's skip to this one. All right, so it looks like we have some subtraction, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So I need to handle that multiplication first. So negative two minus six plus, all right, we have negative six times negative one. So a negative times a negative is a positive, so that'll be positive six. I'm gonna bring down that minus one. And now we just have subtraction and addition. Those are of equal importance, so I'm gonna use the left or right rule. Negative two minus six is negative eight, plus six minus one. Negative eight plus six would be negative two. And then negative two minus one, so same sign, add and keep, would be negative three. Or you could think of this as negative two plus negative one. And of course, you're welcome to use a calculator. In the helpful websites, I have a link for Desmos, and most of you have calculators on your cell phones. All right, um, let's look at number five. Okay, so first I'm gonna handle these parentheses. So I have negative one minus, and then another set of parentheses with six minus one. So I'm gonna handle this first. Six minus one is five. All right, and then negative one minus five would be negative six times negative 10 over five. Again, I'm just gonna stick a one underneath and go straight across, negative six times negative 10 would be positive 60 over one times five is five and 60 divided by five is 12. All right, let's look at some examples of the distributive property. 
All right, the distributive property is nothing but multiplication. You have a term, and then later we'll actually have an expression out in front of another expression in parentheses, and you just want to distribute that to both of these terms, and there can be multiple terms inside parentheses, but for right now, we're just going to do a monomial, a monomial, and a binomial. So let's get to work. So I like to think of the distributive property as sharing. So I have a negative three out front, and I'm going to share it with both of those terms. So we have negative three times four X, and then that's minus, and then we have negative three times eight. Okay? And then negative three times four X would be negative 12 X minus negative three times eight would be negative 24. And we talked about earlier when you're subtracting a negative, that'll become a positive. And that'll be it. We're finished. Now I can't add those two terms because they're not like terms. This one has the variable X and this one does not. So this is my most simplified answer. All right, let's look at another example. Let's skip to here. I'm gonna distribute my negative eight. Let's share it. So we have negative eight times four N and then plus negative eight times one, okay? So negative eight times four N would be negative 32 N plus Negative eight times one would be negative eight. I'm gonna clean this up. I don't like this plus with this negative. If you're adding a negative, you're just subtracting. So that'll be negative 32 N minus eight. And I'm finished. All right, let's do one. Um, all right, let's skip down to number 15. All right, so I'm gonna distribute the negative nine. Negative nine times negative seven B, and then there's a minus, and we have negative nine times negative seven. It's a whole lot of negatives. All right, a negative times a negative is a positive. Nine times seven is 63, don't forget your B, minus. Negative nine times negative seven, as we said previously, is 63. And that's gonna be it. All right, let's do one more. All right, this time we're gonna distribute our five. So I'm gonna share it with both of these terms. So five times X, and then it's subtraction, and then five times two. 5 times x is 5x minus 5 times 2 is 10. And like I said, there could be a dozen terms in there, and we would just distribute that 5 to all of them. Okay? All right, I hope that helped. Thank you.